Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Trump's gun control embrace sets off scramble in Congress. President Donald Trump's unexpected openness to expansive gun control measures set off a scramble in the Senate Thursday, with lawmakers in both parties laying out a raft of competing proposals and jockeying for position. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, DNY, outlined his caucus three top priorities in the gun control debate, expanded background checks, judicial orders that would temporarily let guns be taken from dangerous individuals, and at least a vote on banning assault weapons, as Senator Marco Rubio, Republican Florida, pitched his own package of gun and school safety plans. Senators Jeff Flake, Republican Arizona, and Martin Heinrich, DNM, released a new bill banning bump stocks, even as other Republicans indicated they would prefer to wait for the Trump administration's regulatory crackdown on the devices that boost the rate of fire of semi-automatic weapons. The flurry of action suggests Trump's wild card support Wednesday for proposals to expand background checks and raise the age limit for certain rifle purchases has caused plenty of political ripples, if not yet a wave big enough to unite lawmakers behind a single approach. The president started on the right foot, but we must work together to get it done, Schumer told reporters Thursday as he announced Democrats' gun policy priorities. Words alone will not prevent the next mass shooting. One public meeting will not close background check loopholes. With few Republicans quickly embracing Trump's support for expanded background checks for gun buyers, one of that effort's top sponsors urged him to keep pressing the issue. This is about the president, Senator Joe Manchin, DW. Virginia, told reporters. He's the only person who can get this out. Manchin and his partner on the background checks bill, Senator Pat Toomey, ARPA. We'll have more time to twist arms next week. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, RKI, has teed up for a debate on bipartisan legislation easing some regulatory requirements under the Dodd-Frank financial reform law. Senators in both parties predicted that gun-related amendments may be offered to that bill as the border debate continues, with Manchin predicting that guns would remain in the hot seat. Rubio had previously garnered a positive response in his home state where the Valentine's Day killing of 17 students and faculty members has sparked a potentially major shift in gun politics. But after indicating that he would support raising the required age for purchases of AR-15-style rifles, which have been used in multiple mass shootings, Rubio shied away from the idea, which splits his fellow Senate Republicans. Rubio said in prepared remarks on the Senate floor that while he would continue to explore additional reforms on rifle by age limits and firearm magazine capacity, those proposals will need to be crafted in a way that actually contributes to greater public safety, while also not unnecessarily or unfairly infringing on gun owners' Second Amendment rights. Instead, he called for creating gun violence restraining orders that would allow a court to intervene while respecting due process as well as reauthorizing school safety grants. Rubio also previewed a forthcoming proposal from senators in both parties that would mandate FBI notification to states when individuals barred from buying guns attempt to purchase them. Senate Judiciary Committee Chairman Chuck Grassley also announced Thursday that he will hold an oversight hearing on March 14 examining the school shooting in Parkland, Florida. Grassley has already sought briefings from the FBI and social media companies about advance notice that law enforcement officials received, but failed to act on, concerning the threat posed by Florida perpetrator Nicolas Cruz. The great tragedy of the Parkland shooting is that it was preventable. Grassley told committee members. The FBI and local law enforcement failed to act on credible tips that should have neutralized the killer and gotten him help. Grassley also offered strong support for a narrow, bipartisan bill designed to improve the existing background check system. Republican leaders also backed the measure, which would push federal agencies and states to submit information on individuals' criminal histories to the FBI's National Instant Criminal Background Check System. Democrats, as well as Trump, have said the fix-nix bill doesn't go far enough.
but it's not clear most Republican lawmakers are willing to embrace anything else, even as the bill faces due process objections from some on the GOP side of the aisle. Grassley also declined to immediately support legislation banning bump stocks. The Iowa noted the administration is moving ahead with regulatory limits on bump stocks, adding, if that effort proves unsuccessful, I'm you also willing to consider a legislative ban. Burgess Everett contributed to this report. Kroger to raise age limit on gun sales to 21. Kroger, the largest supermarket chain in the U.S., announced Thursday it will raise the age requirement for firearm purchases to 21 years old, the third major retailer to tighten such regulations in response to the deadly school shooting in Florida. The Ohio based company, which sells guns through its Fred Meyer chain at 43 stores across four western states, cited the shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, as part of its rationale in announcing the move. In response to the tragic events in Parkland and elsewhere, we've taken a hard look at our policies and procedures for firearm sales, a company spokeswoman said in a statement. Recent events demonstrate the need for additional action on the part of responsible gun retailers. The company said it would also end the sale of assault-style firearms across the chain stores. It had halted sales of such weapons in stores in Oregon, Washington and Idaho several years ago, a spokeswoman said, and will now stop accepting special orders for the weapons in Alaska. We believe these are common-sense steps we can take immediately that are in line with our values and our vision, a representative for Kroger said. Kroger joins Walmart and Dick's Sporting Goods in announcing this week it will stop selling guns to those under 21. Dick's also announced it would cease sales of assault-style rifles at its 35 field and stream stores and end the sale of high-capacity magazines at all its stores. Walmart stopped selling assault rifles in 2015. The debate over age requirements on gun sales heated up after suspected shooter Nicolas Cruz, 19 allegedly used an AR-15 assault rifle to kill 17 students and staffers in Parkland. President Donald Trump has floated proposals for the government to raise the required age for firearm sales from 18 to 21 years old, telling lawmakers during a White House meeting on Wednesday that he would give the measure very serious consideration. You can't buy a handgun at 18, 19 or 20. You have to wait until you're 21, Trump said. You could buy the weapon used in this horrible shooting at 18. State legislators in Florida are currently debating a bill to raise the age limit to buy rifles. The measures have faced pushback from the National Rifle Association. Flake on Trump's Take the Guns remark, he misspoke. Senator Jeff Flake, Republican Arizona, said Thursday that President Donald Trump misspoke a day earlier when he said he'd prefer to take the guns first and worry about due process later when dealing with people who could pose a danger to society. Trump made the comments Wednesday at a bipartisan meeting on school safety aimed at preventing attacks like the February 14 school shooting in Parkland, Florida, that killed 17 people. A lot of times. By the time you go to court, it takes so long to go to court to get the due process procedures, Trump said. Take the guns first, go through due process second. Flake, who was at the meeting, said he heard the comment, but he essentially gave Trump a pass, telling CBS News on Thursday that everyone should just move ahead and not dwell on the remark, which veered well away from typical Republican views on gun rights. Anything we have introduced in the Congress respects due process, Flake said. It was a bit astonishing to hear the language there, and people around the table were shaking their heads, but you can chalk that up to that he misspoke. Let's move ahead. It was a lot of excitement afterward that he might actually lead on this, and we need that. Flake, who once called for the now president to withdraw from the 2016 presidential race, said Congress won't reach agreement on steps on guns and school safety without Trump's involvement. His leadership here is really critical if it's going to get through the House or Senate, Flake said.
I do think there's a better chance the president will lead and really get out front on this.